So tonight is product review and we do have a product to review. It is by Pixis. If you can see that, let's pull it out and see what it is. It is a value viewfinder. If you have you any of you guys done something called plain air? Plain air. Plain air. Plain air painting. painting. Um, so this is a tool that a lot of plain air painters yes. use. So having it on yeah. a lanyard is, is it nice. is so handy. I love the size. So that's like my first thing about it. I love the size of it and I love the quality. Like the lanyard is really nice quality. The other cool thing about it that I noticed is that it clips off like that. So, okay, so you can clip this off and then you can clip this off again and you have a measuring tape. This is so nice to have this right, right at your fingertips. Yeah. I'm not a big plein air painter and I don't go outside and paint very often, but I think this would be handy inside too. Mm -hmm. So I like the size of it. It would be handy for travel for sure. Um, to have these things just kind of in your reach. Put these cards, and the cards are nice, really nice plastic and very durable. You can see they're pretty heavy duty. Um, I like that. I like quality. I think they did well with this. On the cards, what we notice is that it's the same thing on both sides. Both sides. Um, so whatever way that you have it on your neck, you just, you know, you can just pick it up and it's the same thing. I think it's okay to have something on both sides. Like this one, it's the same on both sides. I think that's nice. But for this color wheel, I think it would be nice to have some different information other on the information. other side. So I think they could have probably made better use of this. And there's a lot to know about the color wheel and they could probably use that space better. These are like working tools when you're doing artwork. So it includes the grayscale, which is awesome. And we're gonna talk about this tool. This will be part of our tips tonight. And this is a viewfinder with a grid, which is great for mapping out your painting. And you can use this both inside and outside. And this is so great. It's so nice to have just a little handy card at your fingertips to remind you about the different colors of the um, color wheel. It talks about the primary colors, the tertiary colors, the secondary colors, the complementary colors, the warm, cool. And it points it all out for you so that, you know, it's hard sometimes to remember all that stuff. It's nice to have it in one place. I love that. <laughs> When I think of complimentary, I think of yellow and purple for some reason. Yeah. So yeah. That's like one of my biggest ones. I really like they, to And you, it was kind of cool is when you are out in nature, you see those colors and flowers. There's um, definitely complimentary colors just all around you outside in nature. And, um, you know, it works well out there. And that's in, uh, it can work well in our paintings and planning our paintings. So anyway, that is super nice to have in a nice handy card. My my only thing against this is just I think that they could have probably used better space in the back and not repeated it. Now for this viewfinder, what's cool is there's like a grid thing. You see the grids there. So um, like if you're outside painting and you see an area that you'd like to paint, you can put one of these grid lines like up, that could be your horizon line. And then maybe like where these two intersect, you could put like a barn there or a boat, you know, have your subject matter in there. This is the rectangle one. You can get them in square sizes. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it kind of helps you uh, line up your subject matter. It would be really kind of hard and inconvenient to try to hold this up while you're drawing. So probably a good solution is to clip it, you know, like maybe on the top of your easel or wherever you're working, mm -hmm. um, clip it so that you can look if you're outside. So this would probably translate to like an eight by 10, probably mm -hmm. you could, you could create these grids on your, mm -hmm. on your sheet, on your eight by 10. Um, and just kind of proportionally kind of decide this is going to be in that section. And, and then as you're looking at it and you're looking at mm -hmm. the sections then you can put it down, you could do your little sections and then look back at, mm -hmm. at it to kind of check where the location is um, on your piece and translate it mm -hmm. from this. So 
another so like, way you can you can use it is I think did you bring that up where you can draw right on here? Oh yeah, I with forgot a to show, yeah. dry erase. Mm -hmm. So if you have a dry erase, it actually works really well. You can draw right onto it, and then you can leave it down and just kind of use that as a a guide yeah. before you put it back up. Mm -hmm. So you know exactly where you know certain objects were were on this. right on your grid. I think yeah. that is so smart. Like this, right. so you have a good idea. And for plein air, you want something to kind of like just fit in your backpack, yeah, right? Yeah, travel size. Like if you're out hiking mm -hmm. and you want to pull out your sketchbook, you know, you just want something small. So this is so perfect. I I do think this is great because it's waterproof. It's nice, heavy plastic. I like mm -hmm. that part of it. The yeah, grid is really a great way to break down uh, a drawing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you're doing just um, freehanding things, yeah grids are really really easy to to transfer it takes time it's very tedious but any i feel like if you were to just for me personally when i do um freehand from a reference photo to a onto my art piece it's hard for me to transfer it um very well without a grid because then i'm constantly erasing and i'm mm -hmm. doing all this work that is a little bit extra working the paper a little bit too much before i put color down so it's it's best to get the line drawing down and uh, with as little erasing as possible mm -hmm. so that the grid is a good way of doing that yeah yeah it just breaks it down more a little more scientific kind of helps you it's like a, a little handy tool for mm -hmm. transposing what you want onto a piece of paper so the grayscale. Do you want to talk about this first, and I'll sure. fill in. So, um, if you guys work with uh, graphite pencil, this is a really good thing to have. So, if you have a dog, or if you have a horse, or something, then you can reference and kind of compare and contrast how your shades and your values are in your piece. Um, if you're looking at your piece and your piece is a little bit too dull, like um, you don't want everything to be in a value, one value. You want things to kind of have the contrast to have things pop out at you. Mm -hmm. So you want your medium, light, and dark. Um, all, th all those things is, is good to create a good composition of. A you can use this for not only black and white, but you can also use it when you're doing color painting. Um, and when you, I mean, it's obviously, it's not gonna match your color exactly, but you can kind of get a feeling for what value that color's in mm -hmm. and then kind of transpose it over. So um, this is handy because you can see through it and you can line it right up. I'm just gonna give you, show an example. You can take a piece of artwork that you're working on or a pattern you're working on and make it make it black and white make it black turn it into a black and white image okay and so let's say you are having a really hard time understanding value and being able to replicate that maybe you're finding that very difficult maybe your darks are too dark and your lights are too light or you're not getting it where you want it yeah to maybe be. you're not getting enough of the in between you need the light medium dark or the or the shade Right. Shading it. Yeah. So you can, it. one way is you can turn the image into a black and white image. Okay. And then you can go in and like, if I could zoom this up better, bigger, it would be a lot better, but it's not going to zoom up that much. But I can go in and say, look at the, let's see the shading right under the chin there. Okay. I can say, oh, that shading it looks like it the darkest value of that looks like it matches up with the number one value okay mm -hmm. which is the darkest value so i'm just going to mentally remember that that's my darkest value and then the mid value mm, you just have to kind of look through it and see what matches the best and i would say it's kind of between those two i would say that this value right here the number two and then the light value probably goes down to this this one right here so those are my three values 
that I want. And then when I go to my piece, that's what I'm going to try to replicate is to try it. I'll just line this up with my piece when I, when I start doing my dark mm -hmm. value and that will kind of help me, even though my piece is, might not be black and white, you know, you're, you're going to have color on your piece. You can still kind of, um, line it up. Um, it really is to just kind of help you get an, understanding of the value in your painting and especially if you're having a hard time seeing it this can help you do that and see I, I you kind of explained it a little bit earlier and it mm -hmm. made a lot of sense when you explained it in a way that had to do with um a tuner so you're oh yeah, yeah. explaining that a tuner mm -hmm. is like kind of like this this value scale mm -hmm. so with music people you know they're they learn to hear the tune mm -hmm. and uh, i don't know a lot about music mm -hmm. but um they learn to they learn if that's a c then they kind of learn to hear that c or that that b or that a mm -hmm. um and for artists a lot of times the ones that um are like they're really good at it they have been doing it for years have been learning that for a long time and they have when they look at a value they can actually see you know like two different colors might be this the same value but they are two different colors like a, a green or a brown mm -hmm. they could be the same value but they look like different colors to some other people um an artist can probably see that apart mm -hmm. or a, a well um, trained to the eye artist so something like this can help train you mm -hmm. to learn that kind of like a tuner it tunes you to that value mm -hmm. or, or the values that you're working with if you're using a grayscale, it's a lot easier to start out with black and white imaging mm -hmm. and black and white drawing and stuff with this until you get a feel for it. And then you can move over to the color. You use the same tool, mm -hmm. but you've kind of got a mental feeling for it. Yeah, how it's like it works. intuitive. Mm -hmm. I think that this is a really good um, idea. And I feel like it's good. You could add things to it because it's just mm -hmm. a little bit. Yeah, because it still yeah. has room on it. If you had a red and green value finder on here, I think it would be perfect. Mm -hmm. My other, um, my little critique is just that they could probably make more use out of the other side of this color wheel. They could probably put more information on it mm -hmm. instead of just repeating it. These are fine. I mean, obviously this is going to be the same and this is fine to have it the yeah, same. Both, all three of these are very, very useful and I think yeah. they're needed. And so, so with that being said, I think that even just with the, the ruler lanyard and everything yeah. being um, Heck, eleven ninety nine. dollars 99 this is size. really a nice, it's high quality and you get a lot with it. Um, the only thing we think is that you could just add the red and green value finder, it would be amazing. So I guess my, mine is a, mine is a thumbs up, kind of squampish thumbs up. <laughs> Let's just add the red and green group, uh, uh, viewfinder and this makes a, a full on thumbs up. Yep, so, same. Yeah. So anyway, that's fun. Um, if you do want to purchase that, we have an affiliate link to Amazon that you could use and would help us out. Well, anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed this product review. This is called the Pixis, P-I-X-I-S-S. Value Finder. You can find it on Amazon, eleven yep. ninety nine. And we have a an affiliate link uh, under the video. Yep. So thanks for being here tonight, you guys. Had so much fun, and we have oodles of products to review in the future. So we'll be doing this once a month, and we're really excited. Thanks for joining us. All right, bye. Bye bye. Bye, you guys.